Hello everybody, welcome to another edition of Improving Your Work on VIPR Digital Art Channel. My name is Catalin and I'm a designer for Van. In today's video, we're going to create two templates for Redbubble's Dufflet bags. So, without further ado, let's get started. Okay, welcome back to my computer. So now let's start working. The first thing that we want to do, we want to create shapes using uh, Redbubble's du du flat bags template. If you do not know how to download it, you can check my previous video about best fit and optimization of your designs for Redbubble fitted masks. I already downloaded the template here, but the one thing I do not like about this template is the resolution of it. So let's see the resolution. So the dimension is the same as uh, in Redbubble, but the resolution is 150 by 150. Well, in my case, more, all of my designs are 72 by 72. So it's always good to check your uh, design dimensions and try to optimize this template for your resolution. So let's start. The first thing that I want to do, I want to lower the resolution. So I will open this in Photoshop. Okay, I'll go to file, sorry, to image, image size, and here I want to type 72. And the uh, width, here you want to uncheck. If this is linked, you want to uncheck it. So again, 72, and here we write uh, 4050 by uh, 7800. Here, do not let it on automatic. You can check to preserve detail, and this one works very well. We click OK file save and let's close it let's go back to finder as you can see nothing changed but let's refresh now we change the resolution to 72 by 72 this is what i wanted for my designs especially now let's open this in photoshop again and let's create the shapes very fast in, in this case template we have this gray area that we can use it for a quick selection so we go to magic wand gonna click here make a quick selection we're gonna create a new layer and here I will fill it with black I'll go to now with black let's choose another color that's red go to edit fill and foreground color okay select deselect so we have this frame but now let's get the shapes well there are two ways to do that the first way is you can use the magic wand. We go here to layer 2, click inside, make a quick selection of this. We create a new layer and we're going to go to the bucket tool and let's fill it with another color. And we created the circle. But if you want to be more precise, let's delete this one. If you want to be more precise, we already have the dimensions here is 92 by 19 by 20 so what we can do we can just create a shape click the shape tool choose ellipse and here you be sure the stroke is zero it's transparent so we don't need a stroke and here on the width we are typing 1920 by 19 20 hit enter and now we just click around here you're gonna get this message click okay and then we created this shape but now i want this shape to fit it here because if i want to do it manually it will take way too much time so what can i do i can go to layer 2 choose the magic wand click inside go back to ellipse and now we move go to move tool and we hit center center we go to select and deselect and now we have created our first circle shape this one I can just rename it for example um, circle left I'll make a duplicate by holding ctrl or command J make a copy and let's write it right and now we can we can just uh, make a selection again we go to layer 2 magic wand click here we make a quick selection go back to circle right and move tool and just center perfect and select deselect so now we created this and let's do the same 
for this shape. Now here we have the, this following dimensions. 36, oh, sorry, this dimension, 3675 and by 5775. So this 5575 we want to cut it in two. Why? Because here, as you can see, we have two faces. So let's cut it. We're gonna create another shape. This time a rectangular shape. And here for the width, we're gonna type 3675. Let's double check to be sure. Yeah. So again, 3675. And this one, we're gonna type 2887.5 and click or enter and now we click inside and okay so we created this we go back to layer 2 magic wand click inside the shape go back to rectangular and now let's center it move tool first we want to center it this way and now I want to push it towards the bottom so I will click this one perfect now let's uh, select the select and I'll, I will write low. I can just write rec low. Rec slow, eh? But it's okay. And let's make a copy, control or command plus J. And let's put this top. And let's do the same as before. We're gonna choose the magic wand, go to layer two, click inside. Go to the top, move tool and center and top. And now we fill in the shapes. We don't need layer two anymore and layer one. So these two, we can delete them. Now let's change the colors a little bit. So it will be easier for us to work around. Actually, not really, but let's fill them with black. Oops. Well, why it doesn't work? Well, right now this is a shape, so let's, let's rasterize it. Okay. Do not worry if you have this line here, because if you zoom in, there is no line. Okay. And now what we have to do, we have to save each of these as a separate PNG. Now, there are two ways to do it. One way is to come here on the layer and right click or hold control on a Mac, click, and here you go to quick export as PNG. Well, if you do this, what will happen, let me hide this, here it won't export the entire file and the, file, the shape position. It will just trim all the transparent and it will always only export the shape. Well, I don't want that, I do want to keep the position. So I'll go to file, export, quick export, and here I can just write top and uh, save. I'll do the same for the other one. File export. Uh, okay. Hello. File export. All right. And file export left. Now we have created our shape. Let's close this, we do not need them anymore. And now let's start our action. So as you can see, we have our file saved here. Okay, now that we have everything uh, prepared, let's start create our template. So what we're gonna do, I will open this character design that I have made it in before for Valentine's. And let's open it in Photoshop. Perfect. Next, I want to create a new folder. Let's call it uh, Daphne Bags Template. Okay. okay. And then here we're going to create a new action. We're going to call it Character. Okay. And Record. Now, the next step that I want to do is to go to Layer, Smart Object, and Convert to Smart Object. Oops, but before we continue, I have this open here that I want to close them. I want no tabs whatsoever. Let's click record again. 
And the reason why we convert it into a smart object is because later on we want to open this in a new tab. And the second reason is because if this uh, layer originally is locked by your default settings of your Photoshop, the converting to a smart layer will unlock. Now, the next thing that I want to do is go to image, canvas size, and let's type in the new dimension 1450 by 7800. This is the standard dimension for the duffle bags. And proceed. Next, let's import our shapes. We'll select them all, drag them here, and then OK, 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 OK. Let's navigate to layer 1 by holding Alt or Option and the right bracket. And now here we want to open it in a new tab by double click. And this one, let's resize it. Well, the standard dimension for the circles that we created is a 1920 by 1920. This time I want this image to be smaller size. Now let me show you why. I will close this one. Let's see here, I will create a circle. Oops, sorry, wrong shape. And let's create a circle. Now, if I make a, if I resize this to 1920 by 1920, what will happen? You will see that I still have some parts of the design outside and I don't want that. I want them all inside. So what I will try to do is I will lower this design dimension to as much more <laughs> to a smaller file size. So let's do that. So let's start recording again. We go back to action, record, go to file, automate, and fit image. This time I want to type in 1500, 1500, no, 1500 by 1500, and click OK. Now we reshape it. We go to file, edit, copy. Next, we don't want to navigate by mouse because sometimes it can give you a lot of errors. We go to Windows and we navigate to Valentine's PNG. And here, edit and we choose paste. Now, before we bring this up, let's navigate back to layer 1 by going to Windows, layer 1, file and close. Do not save. Now, this layer 2, we want to bring it to the front. So we go to layer arrange and bring to front. Now we can see it. Next time we want to align it to the left circle. So we have to go to this layer. Again, don't use your mouse to click here. Just navigate with your keyboard. Alt or Option and one of the brackets, left or right. So I'm already here. Now I want to hold Control or Command on a Mac and click on the icon to make a quick selection. Next, we will navigate back to layer 2. Alt or Option and the brackets. Now we are back to layer 2. Now we want to make this centered here. So I go to Move Tool and click here the alignment buttons. Center and Center. And voila! Because we lower the dimensions to 1500 to 1500, now it fits perfectly. Next, we go to Select, Deselect and we're gonna make a copy of it. We go to Layer and Duplicate Layer. OK. And now this one we want to align it to the right. So we go here to the right by holding Alt or Option and the brackets. Perfect. Control or Command and click to make a quick selection and go back to Layer 2. And again, Move Tool, Center. Perfect. Now we go to Select and Deselect. Next, we want to go to layer 1 by holding up Alt or Option and the right bracket. And this one, again, we're going to open it in a new tab by double click. This time, we want to resize it to the rectangle size. So we're going to go to File, Automate and Fit Image. And here, let's type. So the original width was 36.75 by 2887.5 and I want to cut at least 250 pixels out of it. So here I'll put 4, 2 and uh, 6, 3 and click OK. Same as before, edit, copy, 
Windows Valentines, edit paste, again Windows layer one, file close, don't save. Now this one we want to bring it to the front, layer arrange and bring to front. Perfect. Now let's go to the top layer here by holding Alt or Option and the left bracket. Control Command, click make a quick selection. Go back to layer 3, Alt or Option and the right bracket. And now move tool and let's center it. Perfect. Select, deselect, layer. We're gonna go to duplicate layer. Okay, and now we go to edit, transform, flip horizontally, edit, transform, flip vertically. Now we're gonna go to the low layer, alt or option and the left bracket. Okay, control command, make a quick selection and now we go back to layer 3 copy, alt or option, right bracket and again move tool. Center, center, select, deselect, and we have finished the template. Now let's get rid of the things that we do not need anymore. We don't need layer one and we don't need the other ones. So Alt or Option and right bracket, we go to layer one. And now to select them all, Alt, uh, Alt or Option, Shift and the right bracket. And these ones, we can just click the delete and Yes, so we finish this, we can go to file, save us, doesn't really matter where you save it, but in my case I will save it here in uh, my previous folder and I'll call it test1. Be sure to be saved as a PNG file, save, okay, and we're gonna close it. Well, this is not really a must, but it's good to do it. And do not save. We go to Windows, Actions, and stop recording. Now let's give it a try. So we go back here to characters. Let's go to Redbubble. I do want to upload it to see how it looks like. Test one. And we are waiting until this. Well, until this will be over, let's go back to Finder. We're gonna create a new folder. We're gonna call it test one out. And let's go back to Photoshop. We're gonna go to file, automate. As you can see, I have no tabs or no project file open whatsoever. And this is what you want. File, automate, batch. Here, be sure that the uh, duflet back templates selected. Characters, we choose the folder. So I'll have this character folder with four designs choose and output test one output and choose i want the document name it's fine override set actions very good and this one we let them as they are and click ok and now photoshop is doing its magic let's back to finder test out and we wait Very good. Now let's see if the product upload, eh, not so much. For me it's pretty slow sometimes because I have to use a, a VPN in order to make it work. So now that we have finished this template, let's show you how we can do it for a landscape design. So let's get back, go back here. Let's open this Atom Fox illustration with Photoshop. And let's close this one. Let's create a new one. Let's call it landscape. And by the way, it also works for um, a different type of. You don't have to really, really use landscape. You can use uh, photography or uh, even uh, patterns. But in my case, as you can see, I still have some uh, parts that I want to trim. So I will go to image, trim, transparent. Won't work very well, so I will just chrome it and I don't want no transparent layers. Ah, yeah. 
okay now we have this finish let's create a new we create a new folder let's call it uh, landscape actually i don't need any folder i don't want any folder i just want inside this folder to make a new action call it landscape okay same as before we're gonna go to layer smart object convert to smart object and uh, image canvas size 4050 by uh, 7800 okay proceed let's import the files and drag that in so basically what I will do will be the same as before but this time instead of using uh, automate fit image I will go to image size and try to resize it from there so I'll hold alt or option and the right bracket to go to layer 1 double click we open it here and now I go before we went to file automate but this time I want to go to uh, image and I want to use image size and here we're gonna type in the new dimension 1920 by 1920 Remember, before we use 1,500 uh, by 1,500, but this time we're going to put 1920 by 1920 and click OK. Now, this layer, we're going to go edit, copy, and Windows, Atom, edit, paste. And now again, I want to go backwards, Windows, layer 1, file, close don't save here this layer we want to bring it to the top so uh, layer uh, arrange send to front and now let's make this uh, center to this one again alt or option left bracket but before we do that i want to show you something else we want this layer too to bring it all the way down to the left so we go to layer arrange send backwards layer arrange send backwards i know it can be a little bit annoying but let's see here says that control i can hit control and the left bracket so you can hit control or command and the left bracket to go down so now we are just above the left layer and this is what we want why because we want to clip it to this one but for right now we do not see the image but before we clip, let's go to left layer by holding Alt or Option and the left bracket. We make again a quick selection by holding Ctrl or Command. Alt or Option, right bracket, we go up. And now we're going to choose the Move tool and Center, Center. As you can see, we still have some parts of the image that we may need to crop it. So in order to do that, we're going to go to Select, Deselect. And now we go to layer and clip mask. Sorry. We go to layer and create clip mask. Now the shape went inside and this is what we wanted. And this one, we can again duplicate this layer by going to select layer duplicate. Okay. Now this one we want to bring it above uh, the right, so we want to put it here by holding Control or Command and the right bracket. Okay, and this one we want to center it to the right. Alt or Option, left, we are here, left bracket. Again, we want to Control or Command, clip, make a quick selection. Alt or Option, right bracket to go up. We're going to go to Move Tool, Center, Center. Select, deselect, layer, create clipping mask. And we finish with the other one. Now, here at this point, if you want, you can uh, let the image as it is, or you can go to edit, transform, and flip horizontal. It works both way, either way. Now we have this created. Now let's see what we can do for the top and the bottom. So now we want to go to layer one, alt or option, and the right bracket. Again, we're gonna double click to open it in a new layer. Here we go to image, image size, 
and this time we type uh, 3675 the width and the height 2887.5 and click OK oh. nah, this one won't give us a full extension but it's still okay let's go back I want to image size again I don't want to put here instead of 8 I want to put a 9 to make it a little bit bigger okay now we finish this one so this one we can just go to edit copy windows button fox edit paste we go to windows layer one file close don't save and this one we wanted to bring it above the top layer so we can just go here layer arrange and bring to front now alter option left control command click alter option right bracket to go up and now move tool click click perfect now what we want to do is select deselect layer duplicate layer okay and this one we want it with a low one so alter option left bracket go to low control command click on it alter option go up again with a right bracket and this one again center center now we're going to go to select deselect file edit transform and we're going to choose flip horizontally uh, we're going to go again to edit transform and flip vertically and we finish with this one as well same as before we have to delete the other layers alt or option but this time we will only delete the top layer okay this layer one we don't need i can delete left i need i can need talk talk i need the low i need the right the low i don't need the low so this one i can delete it Alter option and the brackets to navigate and I do not need the top okay so we have finished with this design as well so we're gonna file save us and here I can just write test 2 I will save it the same place PNG file save okay we're gonna go to file close and don't save windows action stop recording and let's go back up to the landscape let's use file automate batch to apply it for all the other landscapes i'll be sure here to have the landscape selected choose folder this time i want the landscapes choose output let's create a new folder test 2 out create choose overwrite save let the same okay perfect this one is working as you can see this is how our, our image looks like the test one looks very good i don't want to save it <laughs> because uh, i don't want to use it right now leave and let's uh, here choose another one so we have test to png so i can upload that to see how it looks like okay it's finished let's see this one will take a while until it will upload so those are two ways to create uh, templates for duffel bags of course there are many other ways and even uh, the way you you place your designs on those duffel bags can be can vary and for that i'll make a video next week about design placement ideas for duffel bags and if you enjoyed the video so far don't forget to click the like button subscribe to the channel and click the notification bell in order to get notified when new videos will pop out and by the way we're uploading videos every single day on how to improve your workflow and also giving you design ideas and techniques 
And if you do have any questions or if you are trying to duplicate this template at home to make it for yourself and you're struggling with it, you can leave down a comment and I'll be happy to help you and guide you through the process. Okay, but for now, let's wait. Now, as you can see, it's finished and it looks really good. Now, if you do have any question, again, leave a comment down in the description. And if you enjoyed the video and you found it useful, click the like button because this will help with the algorithm for more people to discover this video and also to help this channel grow. So I wish you have a nice day and bye bye.